Well, hey guys, Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. What we're looking at here is uh, three furnace filters. This is part of our preparedness series. Um, <clears throat> I just want to discuss some of the things that I've learned about furnace filter um, and just the proper care of, of, of your, your, you know, your heat pump in the, in the, in the furnace. Um, on the left here, this one is 30 days old. You, you can see how dirty it is. Um, I hope this is showing up on camera. I've kind of got the direct sunlight blocked to give you a comparison. This is a brand spanking new one. And then this is one in the package. Now, I want to show you something. These say effective up to 90 days. Okay. Well, um, what I learned from um, a guy that was in the HVAC industry was change them out every 30 days. It says effective up to, doesn't say good for. So, <laughs> um, it, I change it every 30 days. So, let's take a look at this. I mean, I, I have a pretty clean house and a floor. And I've, I've got this, you know, linoleum stuff. So, you know, I mean, it, it gets mopped once a week or so. And I dust mop it just about every day. But still, um, I mean, the dirt just travels here, goes back into the the hallway and then back to the air return. So at any rate, this, this just gives you a comparison. Um, puts a lot of strain uh, on that HVAC system. If, if, if you don't run a filter, um, I know some folks will just leave them in there for 90 days, six months, um, especially people that smoke, if you cook greasy things. Um, I mean, they can get saturated in, in these, you know, paper pleated ones, especially. They do make electrostatic ones. You do have to wash those out. Um, <clears throat> I've had those before. But just wanted to throw it out there. You can save yourself, a, a, in the long run, a lot of money <clears throat> by, by changing these out once a month. I personally, I, I just get the, the, the less expensive one. You know, they make it from 4 to 10. I just get the number 4. You know, because it's going to be changed out every month, and it does a very good job. Um, so, at any rate, and there's not much dirt or anything, you know, piled up in, in, in the bottom of the cold air return, because my air return's in the, in the hallway. So, at any rate, just wanted to put this out there. Um, you know, you can find these, uh, you know, any big box store anywhere, you know, five bucks or something. Uh, if you can and you can afford it, um, buy, buy, buy 12 months at a time. That's, that's what I do. Um, it's just so much more efficient for me. And you might find it that way for yourself because, you know, a, a month goes by pretty quick. And what will happen is people will forget and they'll say, ah, we'll just wait till next month. Well, let me tell you something. Look how dirty that one is. That's brand new out of the package and, of course, in the package. But look at that. And you can't really see it, but uh, let's see here. Maybe get this in the sunlight a little bit. Look, look at this stuff. I mean, it's just it's just all in the pleats and uh, it's, it's, just, it's just dirty. And you don't want that stuff traveling through your system. So at any rate, just concluding this little part of our uh, preparedness series here. Um, your, your furnace filter, very, very important part of maintenance. It's inexpensive and cheap insurance. All right, guys, till next time. It's been Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. Pack light, pack tight, stay hydrated.